Well, Ethan back today with another beer review, and what I've got tonight is a really fun looking one. This is, sorry about the glare, this is Bavarian Prince um, Oktoberfest beer. Bavarian Prince from New Realm Brewing Company in Atlanta, Georgia. And they're also out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. So they have two locations, Atlanta and Virginia Beach. This is, like I mentioned, an Oktoberfest. Uh, on the can, they say, Name for the Crown Prince Ludwig, the honoree of the first Bavarian Oktoberfest celebration. Bavarian Prince is a Marzen-style Oktoberfest lager brewed in the German tradition. This amber lager is malty, biscuity, and toasty, and goes as good in a stein as it does in a boot. Prost. And there's the... Bavarian Prince guy holding it. Let me turn the lamp down a little bit so you don't have so much glare. I apologize about that. There we go. That looks better. There we go. Yeah, there's the Bavarian Prince holding his beer stein. I actually have a beer stein that was given to me, but I'm not using that today, just using the trusty Blue Moon glass. Oh uh, yeah, New, uh, New Realm Brewing, they're out of Atlanta, never been, but they're close by, so this is a local beer, always love trying my local beers, um, and this one gets an 88 on Beer Advocate, a very good score, so I was surprised to see that, usually Beer Advocate is a pretty um, stingy score, um, rank number 72, Marvin Style Lager from Georgia. And yeah, I was surprised to see they have the Virginia Beach location now. Um, I believe it used to be just as in the last year or two, it was just Atlanta. I believe they've uh, opened a second brewery in Virginia Beach. So, because I remember getting some New Realm beers back in like 2021, 2020, and they didn't they didn't say uh, uh, Virginia Beach. They just said Atlanta. So yeah, the appearance is, let me turn the lamp back up so you can see it. The appearance is orange, almost like a dark orange juice. White, foamy, two finger head, very nice appearance, kind of cloudy, ascending bubbles, darker than like a American adjunct lager for sure, but not as dark as, well, I'd say about like an IPA. About the same light, um, is an IPA or maybe a um, uh, like a Trapel, a Belgian Trapel. Yeah, New Realm Brewing there in downtown Atlanta, probably about 30 minute drive from me. Never been, but I need to go someday. Uh, let's give an aroma on this one. I am getting that malty, biscuity sweetness that they are. Uh, saying it tastes like on the can I'm definitely getting that very nice appearance sweet aroma malty I imagine this is gonna taste pretty um pretty typical for a Mars and Oktoberfest so yeah we're still uh, in October I'm recording this on the 30th day before Halloween haven't done a lot of Oktoberfest beers this season but I wanted to get in this one before October was officially over um, I think I did one a few weeks back in the beginning of October, so two for the season, not bad. So yeah, this is New Realm Brewing Company's Oktoberfest, the Bavarian Prince. Cool kind of label. Let's go ahead and try this one. Hmm. <clears throat> Right up front, there's a malty sweetness. Um, medium body, I would say. Medium, medium mouthfeel. There's a nice sweetness on the end of the sip. Um, really smooth, though. Sweet, biscuity, bready, almost like a um, a pound cake, maybe, or like a sweet biscuit. Um, definitely medium mouthfeel, 
um, almost light to medium, not even really heavy. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this one is 6.3% ABV, although Beer Advocate says 6.4, so I don't know which is correct. On Beer Advocate, they're saying this was rated on September the 24th of 2023. So, where's my... Uh, my package on date is July 20th, 2023, so... We're within the freshness. Um, just two months past the package date. That's pretty good, actually. That's really good. That's the package date, not the Best Buy date. That's only two months old for a beer, so usually they get about a six-month shelf life of freshness, so we're not even halfway there. So this is pretty fresh, especially for beer around here. Uh, a lot of times beer around here is out of date or nearly out of date. And it's nice to get a beer that is not out of date or nearly out of date. I really like this one. Um, uh, I haven't had a lot of Oktoberfests. I know like Sierra Nevada has one, Yingling has one, Sam Adams has one. A lot of the, like this one, a lot of the craft beers around me come out with uh, Oktoberfest around this time of year, really starting in August and then through about really Thanksgiving, you can still get them. I'm kind of late to the game, but hey, better late than never. I like it. Um, as a style, I like um, a lot, actually, probably more than an IPA because it just has that Euro beer flavor, kind of generic beer flavor, real biscuity, real malty. I like malty beer. I like bready beer. I love hops, but sometimes you just want a beer beer, you know, and that's kind of what this tastes like. It's like a fuller bodied, better tasting yingling, uh, if that makes sense. And it, it's just really kind of what it is, just heavier, a little bit heavier, more body, more alcohol. It's just a, a pumped up version of like a yingling, Sam Adams, something like that. So kind of how I would best describe this one. I like it. I'm going to give it a 91, an A minus. Really like it. Uh, yeah, Bavarian Prince from New Realm Brewing Company in Atlanta, Georgia. Cheers and thank you for watching. Hmm.